There's only one road into Key West, but you won't believe where it can take you. Travel back in time to a city rich with history. Discover amazing artists and musicians. Taste seafood fresh off the boat. Or just kick back and soak up the island vibe. For more about Key West, visit flakeys.com. Key West, close to perfect, far from normal. Hey, can I tell you a secret? The secret to getting a great shave without any nicks, cuts, or irritation isn't three or four blades, a soap strip, or a swivel head. It's just supporting the blade. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just supporting the blade. Don't let it flex or bend. That's the secret to limiting shaving irritation. At Henson Shaving, we use our 20 years of aerospace manufacturing to keep the blade from moving. It's not the coolest answer, but it's the right one. To learn more and to get 100 blades for free, go to hensonshaving.com slash holiday. Adventures of the Saint, starring Vincent Price. The Saint, based on characters created by Leslie Charteris and known to millions from books, magazines, and motion pictures. The Robin Hood of modern crime now comes transcribed to radio, starring Hollywood's brilliant and talented actor Vincent Price as... The Saint. Hello? Mr. Templer? Yes? Joe Collins. Remember me? Joe, sure I do. How are you, Chap? It's been a long time. Yeah, I know. Hey, your fight's still on for tomorrow night? Yeah. Uh, Say, could you do me a big favor, Saint? Could you come down to the gym right away? Sure, but what is it? I'll tell you when you get here. I need to talk to somebody I can trust. I need to real bad. Well, I'll phone for a cab and be there in 20 minutes. Oh, thanks, Saint. Thanks. Oh, don't thank me, Joe. After all, I've got a bet on you tomorrow night. I've got to protect my investment. You got a bet on me? Call it off, Saint. Call it off. What? So long. Yes? It's Louie, Mr. Templer. Your cab is here. Oh, come on in, Louie. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, maybe you should better open the door right away. Well, why didn't you come in, Louis? The door was up. Shh. He's asleep. Oh? Who's asleep? Mr. Templer, look down. Louis, it's a baby. You are so right. But why did you bring him here? I found him here. On your doorstep, Mr. Templer. Louis, don't you look at me that way. Who ain't opened his mouth even, Louis? Well, <laughs> well uh, let's get him inside. Uh, you want to carry him? Maybe you better. Oh. All right. Up we go. <laughs> oh, he's waking up, Mr. Temple. <laughs> he's cute. Yeah, he is. Hey, what's your name, old fella? Uh, Donnie. Hey, he talks. Uh, what's your last name, Donnie? Donnie. Donnie, Donnie, huh? Uh, how did you get here, Donnie? Donnie. Here, let me try him, Mr. Temple. I got away with kids. Donnie, tell your Uncle Louie how you got here, huh? Hey, Donnie. A gold mine of information. <laughs> Wait a minute, look. Hey, there's a note pinned on his coat. I understand that's traditional in such cases. Hey, Donnie! No, just a minute, Donnie. Here. <laughs> please, please, keep him for a few days and don't tell anyone. Not even the police. Sounds like trouble, Mr. Templer. Yes, it does. Well, I guess you won't be needing my cab now, huh? Oh, hey, the cab, I forgot. Louis, mm-hmm. uh, how are you as a babysitter? Huh? Who, me? Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Temper. I'm a cab driver. You can't drive while you sit. My locals got rules. They, they, hey, I'll be back they, in an hour, Louis. Well, uh, just to make it official, I'll borrow your cab. Hey, 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 what are you... Well... <laughs> it looks kind of funny on you at that. Hey, look at the funny man with the hat, Donnie. Huh? Isn't that funny? No! <laughs> I'll see you later, Louis. <laughs> Come on, kid. Use them a little more left there. Get your shoulder into it. That's it. That's better. That's Excuse me, but uh, where could I find Joe Collins? Hold it a minute there, kid. Hold it. 
The champ? Yeah. Well, he's right now, my friend, on the table. We're getting the rub down. We? Yeah, Chadwick's the name's Sam Chadwick. I'm the champ's manager. Oh, I'm Simon Templer. Yeah. Joe said he wanted to see me. Oh, we did, eh? Well, I don't remember us doing that. Well, let's go in. Come on, let's go in. Take a blow, kid. I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, how's Joe feeling? Oh, we're in the greatest shape of our lives. The greatest. That fish Shelly hasn't got a chance tomorrow night. Don't belong in the same ring with us. Uh, two against one hardly seems fair. Two against... Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, here we are, Mr. Templer. Hey, champ, you know this, Jim? Sure. How are you, Saint? I'm good, Joe. How have you been? In a pink, the absolute rose-colored pink. I've been all right. That's enough, George. Thanks. Hey, you want to talk now, Joe? Got here as soon as I could. Talk? What about? We got anything to talk to Mr. Templer about, champ? Saint, the, the fact is, well, well, I'm sorry I called you. It was a, a mistake. It sounded pretty serious, Joe. Well, I I guess I, I'm worked up for the fight tomorrow night with Fischel. You get, well, jumpy. It's the training that does it. Yeah, sure, that's it. We're on edge, you know. Raise a sharp condition. We always get this way right before a fight. What else? It's a sign. Shut up, Maybe Sam. We're... Sorry I bothered you, Saint. I, I'm sorry. And if you're sure you don't need me, I guess that's it. Yeah, sure. And look, if you want to make yourself some easy money, Mr. Templer, sock it on a champ to win tomorrow night. We won't even draw a deep breath. I've already got my money down, Mr. Chadwick. On Joe. Ah, oh, that's great. That's the greatest cinch bet of the entire Shut season. Shut up, Sam. Saint, call off your bet. No. I think you're a pretty good man, Joe. In the ring and out. <laughs> Morning, Louis. Hi, Mr. Templer. Came over as soon as I got your call. Mm. How are you? I'm not so good. A heavy responsibility being a father. Yeah, I'm getting some help, fortunately. I phoned an employment agency, sent over a nurse. That's a shrewd move, Mr. Yeah. Templer. There's nobody quite has a woman's touch like a woman has. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, it's deep, but I'll figure it out. Come on in and see Donnie. Where is he? In bed. Oh, keeps pretty late hours. Mm, you'd be tired, too, if you said Donnie 15,000 times a day. <laughs> How are you, Donnie, old man, huh? <laughs> if you like talking this morning, yeah? watch me. Watch me get some information out of him, Mr. Temple. You mm -hmm. just got to be firm. Yeah, well, I wish you luck, Louie. Donnie, what's your last name? Who brought you here? Where are you from? Huh? Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. At any rate, he's consistent. <laughs> Oh, that must be the nurse. Mr. Templer? Yes, come in. Thank you. I'm Miss Barton, Mr. Templer. The agency sent me uh, over. Right in here, Miss Barton. Miss Barton, this is my friend Louie. How do you do? And your charge, Donnie. <laughs> Hello, Donnie. <laughs> well, he seems to approve of you, Miss Barton. Ah, oh, he's beautiful, Mr. Templer, don't you think so? Louie and I consider him one of the most beautiful babies we have ever seen. Right, Louie? Right. Talks fluently, too, says Donnie. <laughs> Come here, darling. I'm going to have to go out for a while, Miss Barton. Miss Barton. What? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Templer. I said I'll have to leave for a short while and I'll be back. We can discuss arrangements then, huh? Arrangements? Oh, oh uh, anything will be all right, Mr. Templer. Uh, anything at all. Well, I'll call if I'm more than an hour. Goodbye. Goodbye, Donnie. Goodbye. Hey, tell your Uncle Louie goodbye, Donnie. Donnie. Well, better than nothing. Uh, where to, Mr. Templer? I want to go see Kid Fischel, Louie. Well, the guy that's fighting Collins tonight. Huh? Yes. I wasn't at all satisfied yesterday that Joe Collins didn't have something to tell me. Something going on there. Mr. Templer, you got Donnie. How many mysteries can you handle at one time? Sometimes one and one can be added together to get one, Louie. What does that mean? Just a hunch, as yet. Oh. <laughs> I thought they came out with a new multiplication table. I ain't even learned the old one yet. <laughs> well... Shall we be off, Mr. Templer? Uh, there is an obvious answer to that, Louis, which I shall spare you. Let us, by all means, be off. Yes? My name is Templer, Simon Templer. Uh, they told me down at the desk this was Kid Fischel's suite. It is. Come in. Thank you to the desk school, Mr. Templer. One of kids' sparring partners. How are you, chum? How do you do? My name is Alexander. Fritz Alexander. You manage Kid Fischel? I look after him. And very well, too, eh, Frankie? The best, Mr. Alexander. 
can I see the kid, Mr. Alexander? Unfortunately, right now he's sleeping. Go down to weigh in for the fight in an hour. Well, then perhaps I can talk to you about the fight, huh? It would be a pleasure. I can discuss the kid by the hour and never tire. I'm quite fond of him, you see. He's a perfect young machine. Strong, healthy, handsome. He wants the championship. He shall have it. Nothing can stop him. You sound quite confident. I am. If I didn't think he could win, I wouldn't send him into the ring tonight. I wouldn't take a chance on his being hurt. I won't have him hurt, you understand? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Alexander. He ain't going to get hurt. Yes. You see, Mr. Templer, I can become quite emotional over the kid. Usually, I'm, I'm not an emotional man. I see. And does uh, Joe Collins know that the kid is not to be hurt? He knows. You're telling me that the fight is fixed? Hey, watch your mouth, chum. I'm not telling you anything, Mr. Templer. But whoever you are, whomever you represent, remember this. The kid wants the championship. And he shall have it. Because I find pleasure in giving the kid what he wants. And if anything or anyone stands in my way... No, Mr. Templer. Huh. I refuse to be worried by you. The kid will not be hurt. Good day. Mr. Alexander said good day, chum. Thank you for interpreting, Frankie. And Mr. Alexander, my money still rides on Joe Collins. In that case, Mr. Templer, I hope you can spare it. Good day. So long, chum. Mr. Templer! Mr. Templer, I've been looking for you. Oh, what is it, Louie? I called your house to check if everything was all right, like you told me, and Miss Barton said Sam Chadwick had been calling, wants you to call right away. Hey, that's Joe Collins' manager, Louie. wonder what he wants. I don't know, but it's supposed to be urgent. Here's the number, and there's a phone booth out here by the elevator. Oh, thank you, Louie. Hello, Mr. Chadwick? Yeah, yeah, who's this? Uh, Simon Templer, Mr. Chadwick. Oh, Mr. Templer, hey, I've been trying to get you. I've been trying to get everybody that Joe knows. The champ is gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know. There's 50000 already in the box office for the fight tonight, and he walks out. He can't do this. You mean we can't do this? You're in on it, too? Oh, skip it. Have you got any idea where Joe went to? I think he went out to get blind. The guy must be crazy. I'll find him, will you, Mr. Templer? You've got to. Well, I'll do what I can. I'll pay. I'll pay anything. Anything. Within reason, that is. The fight has to go on. Well, I'll do what I can. This is one fight I wouldn't like to miss. This must be about the last bar in town, Mr. Templer. I ain't hit so many bars since the night my nephew went into the Navy. <laughs> Well, if we don't have any luck here, I'm about ready to give up, Louie. Well, come on, let's give it a try. Yeah. Mm. You see him? No, I... Yeah, yeah, I do. Down at the end of the bar. She looks sober? I don't know. You wait here, Louie. Yeah. Hello, Joe. Huh? Oh, hello, Saint. What brings you here? Looking for you, champ. You been drowning your troubles? No, I started to, but no. I'd forgotten I was champion, and when you're champ, there's a pride that goes with it. I'd forgotten I had that pride. Care to tell me what's wrong, Joe? I'll tell you. Sure. Maybe I should have told you yesterday, but things got very bad after I phoned you. How bad? I can't win this fight tonight, Saint. You can't beat Kid Fischel? I can't try to beat him. They won't let me. They got my son. Huh? Who's they, Joe? Alexander, I guess. He had somebody do it. I knew he was a little crazy, but I didn't think he was that crazy. I guess Marie was in on it, too. Marie? That isn't your wife. Was my wife. She left me right after the kid was born two years ago. She's no good. And if you don't let Fischel win tonight... Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? What can I do, Saint? Joe, what's the name of your son? Don. Donnie. Come on. Where? What for? I'll explain in the cab, Joe. We've got to get to my place right away. This way, Joe. Right behind you, Saint. So, Mr. Templer, the front door is open. Donnie. Donnie boy, are you here? 
Donnie! Wait a minute, Joe. What? Behind that couch. That's Miss Barton. Oh, no. Marie. Marie? Yeah. Donnie's mother, Louie. Joe's wife. Marie. Marie. She hurt bad? I don't know. I... Here, now, let me help you, Joe. I... Oh, I'm afraid. No. Marie. Marie, can you hear me? Oh, Joey, I... I didn't know what they were doing until yesterday. Then I got Donnie and left him here where he'd be safe. This morning, I took the place of a girl who was sent over as a nurse, but... I guess they followed me. Who did? Alexander? No, no, not him. He sent somebody. They took Donnie. I, I, I tried to stop them, but they... Where did they but... take him? Do you know? I, I think the training camp on the river, right above Milford. I know the one. Joey. Yes, Marie. <laughs> Isn't Donnie the most beautiful boy you ever saw? Marie. I know that, that this is what all mothers say, but isn't he really? He is, Marie. And Joey, when he gets old enough, will you just tell him, just tell him that his mother loved him very much? Just that, not all the rest. Just that, Marie. Thanks, Joey. You're a... <sighs> Marie. I'm sorry, Joe. She gave her life for Donnie. Yes, she did. Now we've got to find him. I'll find him. And if they've done anything and... No, Joe. If you do find him, they might. Well, look, I'll go after him. I'll go along, Mr. Templer. I don't like the guys that did this. Thanks, Louie. You better go down to the arena, Joe. And we'll let you know as soon as we can. All right. I guess it wouldn't be much use in finding Donnie. I'd probably put him in more danger. Joe, do you want me to... No. No, I'll look after Marie. She was my wife. This looks like the place. All right, Mr. Templer. You want to look through that window where the light is? All right, Louis. Come on. Sorry, twig. Oh, we'll keep down, Louie. I'm going to take a look. What did you see? Yeah, this is it. Donnie's in there and that pug Frankie that I met with Alexander. You think we can take him? I think so. He's listening to the radio. Come on, let's see if we can get in the back way. If you say so, Mr. Templer. Come on. You got that tire iron, Louie? Not only have I got it, I love it like a brother. Good. Here's the kitchen door. Is it open? Yeah, we're in luck. Come on in, Louie. Quiet. And here at ringside, we're watching the introduction of various celebrities by the ring announcer before the Collins Bichel title goes. Pat Kavotny, clever young welterweight from Syracuse, has just been introduced from the ring, gets a nice hand, and now there goes... Uh, I spar with a guy two months, and the night he's to win the title, I'm playing nursemaid. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh, Donnie. Ah, uh, shut up. Louie, stand beside the door. I'll try to get him out here in the kitchen, and when I do... Just get him out here, Mr. Templer. I'll take it from there. Now, here goes. Hi, Frankie. What? What? Who's that? You've got company. Who's in there? Little boy, Blue. Wise guy, are you? Well, you'll end up so full of holes that you'll look huh? like a... Ha-ha, uh, oh. <laughs> bullseye, Louis. That was for Marie, Mr. Templer. Yeah, it should keep him quiet until the police get here. Maybe I should give him another one for myself. Yeah, I know how you feel, Louis, but no. Let's get Donnie and get out of here, huh? Sure, Mr. Templer. How are you, Donnie? Glad to see you. Yeah. Say hi to your Uncle Louie, Donnie. Hey, Donnie. Can't you say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, I learned him a new word. How about that, Mr. Temple? Now he can say two words. Yes, you have a way with you, Louie. Sure. Now, what do you say to Uncle Louie, Donnie? Oh, hi. That's it. And what's your name, Donnie? <laughs> hi. And Louie, you oh. should have given up while you were ahead. Come on. You can't go in there. That's the champ's dressing room. Nobody allowed in. Fight's not over, is it? Uh, not yet. Sixth round. But Collins has taken an awful pace, and I was just up there. Look, kid, get this straight. There isn't much time. Go up to Joe Collins' corner. Tell him Simon Templer has Donnie here safe. <laughs> 
Have you got that? Sure, but I can't go up there and Here, tell him... Here, look, does this persuade you? Yes, sir, Mr. Temple. Thank you. I'll, I'll tell him right away. Okay. Come on, let's go in and sit down, Louie. Donnie's about all in. Yeah, look at him. He can't keep his eyes open. Yeah. Why couldn't we go right up to Joe's corner ourselves, Mr. Temple? Couldn't risk it with Donnie. I couldn't tell what Alexander might do. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, poor Joe. You think we got here in time? I don't know, Louie. I don't know. I must be taking a beating and can't fight back. Yeah, but he can now. If he's got anything left to fight with. Quiet up there now. Must be the end of a round. Mm. See, that crowd noise, I, I, I never heard it from down here. You know, it, it scares you. It should, Louie. The voice of the mob howling for blood. Same voice that howled in the Coliseum at Rome 2,000 years ago. For whose blood? The champs or for shells? Mob doesn't care, Louie. Just blood. Yeah. Scares you. What makes people go to these things, Mr. Temple? Will they ever stop? Well, they, they go because this is an allegory of their own lives, Louie. They'll stop when their lives cease to be conflict and pain. And when will that be? It's hmm, a good question. Hey, light's yeah. starting up again. Yeah, that means the champ is still on his feet anyway. Come on, Joey boy, come on, come on. Mm. Hey, uh, is, is, is it wrong to root, Mr. Temple? Mm, we're all part of the crowd, Louie, one way or another. Yeah, yeah. Oh, something is happening up there. They don't yell like that for nothing. <laughs> come on, come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Do it. You can do it, Joey. Donnie's down here. You can fight now, Joey. Careful of that tire iron, Louie. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> come on. The straight left, champ. Come on, the straight left in the face, Joey, and cross with the right. Oh. What am I talking about? I can't even see him. Come on, Joey. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you too, Mr. Temple. Yeah, me too, Louie. Yeah. Something happened, Mr. Temple. That was too short for a round. That was a knockout. It was, Louie, but who? Yeah, yeah, who? Oh, keep everything crossed, Mr. Templer. Fingers, toes, eyes, everything. Maybe he didn't get our message, Louis. Mr. Templer, don't say that. <laughs> we'll soon know. Sounds like people coming down the hall outside. Yeah, but Joey couldn't have won. Oh, boy, when I had too much taken out of him, he couldn't have come back after the... Oh, it was a great great show! Wonderful. Hey, we took him, Mr. Templer! We took him! Oh. Sam, clear everybody out of here, will you? Yeah, you oh, hurt us, everybody out. Bad Come bad on, bad give us a chance to get our bread, will you? Everybody out. Come on, will you, fellas? Come on. That's it. All out, champ. Hey, that was a great fight. I thought it was even better than the one we fought against Babyface. Oh, boy, am I proud of us, Joe. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, well, you can excuse me now. I got some dough to collect. <laughs> Donnie. Donnie, come on now. Wake up and say hello to your daddy. No. No, let him sleep, Saint. I'm not very pretty right now. But you should see Fischel. <laughs> you clobbered him, champ. Good. He was a very surprised young man. Yeah. How about Alexander? I don't know. I didn't see him after it was over. I rushed right down here. And I'd better get the police on his trail. He might be able to get away if I don't tell them to... Alexander. Joe. Did you think you could get away with it? And, Joe, did you think I'd stand by and see you? That gun must be heavy, Mr. Alexander. You'd better put it down. No. The police won't like your negative attitude. What do I care? After what he did to the kid, you think I care any more about anything? The kid will be all right. He was just knocked out. Just, just. That beautiful physical machine, blooded, battered, stretched out in the dirt. Oh, do you think the kid can ever feel the same again? Do you think I can ever feel about him as I did? He had the championship. Had it. Before Collins double-crossed us. That's one way of looking at it. Why didn't you keep out, Mr. Templer? Why? Put the gun away, Alexander. You haven't a chance. Maybe I haven't. But neither have you, Collins. I warned you not to hurt the kid, but you wouldn't listen. You're a sick man, Mr. Uh, Alexander. Perhaps I am. Perhaps the world is sick and I'm well, but I know what I'm going to do. You first, Collins. You know how the kid felt. Mr. Alexander, I'm afraid you'll have to take care of me first. Stop where you are, Templar. Don't come any closer. I warn you once more, Templar, and then I'm going All to... All right, Louis. Oh! Oh! Lucky I kept this tire iron. Yeah. You know, I think he was serious. I don't think there's much doubt about it. A very twisted man, Mr. Alexander. Hey, look. Donnie's awake. 
You got a smile for your old man, Donnie. Oh, Donnie, hi. Hey, he knows a new word. How about that, Saint? Ain't that some kid? He's another champ, Joe. Oh, I'll be a champ in something. Not in this racket, but something good. Something he can take a real pride in. He'll be proud of you, Joe. He'll be proud of his mother, too. After I tell him about her. Just a minute. Hi, Mr. Templer. Well, look who's here. Hi, Donnie. <laughs> Champ, let me take him out for a walk. Hey, you know what, Mr. Templer? I've been teaching him all sorts of words. Honestly, Louie? Mm-hmm. The smartest kid there is. Watch this now, Mr. Templer. Watch. Donnie, what's my name? Wally. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> You're a smart kid, huh? That's not all. Now, watch this. Donnie, what's Mr. Templer's name? Wally. Uh, something go wrong? No, no, wait just a minute. Wait a minute. Donnie, Mr. Templer's name. Wally. All right, something else. Donnie, where do you live? Wally. Donnie, what's your daddy's name? Wally. No. Don Wally, 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 Wally. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Templer. Goodbye, Louis, 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 Louis. <laughs> You have been listening to another transcribed adventure of The Saint, the Robin Hood of modern crime. Now here is our star, Vincent Price. Ladies and gentlemen, there are certain things in our daily life which we take for granted. Only when we are deprived of them do we realize what precious commodities they really are. Air may become the most vital thing in the world to the suffocating man and water to the thirsty one. In the same way, freedom, when it is missed, suddenly becomes life's greatest treasure. In this country, we possess freedom. It is part of us. It is our American heritage. This liberty which we so casually accept was created and nurtured. It didn't just materialize. And so Americans are justly proud of their heritage, and much of the world around us is fascinated by it. If we are to justify our own pride and the yearnings of those in other countries... We must make this freedom a personal thing. We must take it as it was handed to us and preserve it. Preserve it with conscious effort. That is our job as Americans, as free men. For freedom is everybody's job. This is Vincent Price inviting you to join us again next week at this same time for another exciting adventure of the saint. Good night. Adventure of the Saint was written by Dick Powell. In our cast, you heard Larry Dobkin as Louie and Mary Shipp as Marie. Sheldon Leonard played Sam and Bonnie Phillips Joe. Donnie was Jerry Hausner and Victor Rodman Alexander. Frank Gerstle was Frankie. The Saint, based on characters created by Leslie Charteris, is a James L. Safier production and is directed by Helen Mack. Vincent Price is soon to be seen co starring with Errol Flynn and Michael and Prell in William Marshall's production of Bloodline. All you Saint fans will be glad to know that the Saint comic books are now on all newsstands. Your announcer, Don Stanley. Three chimes mean good times on NBC. Who's on the big show tonight? Well, listen, Bob Hope, Dean Martin, and Jerry Lewis, Rosalind Russell, Frankie Lane, Dorothy McGuire, Louis Armstrong, Meredith Wilson, and glamorous, unpredictable Tallulah. No wonder it's the big show. And Sunday evening also means another outstanding production by Theater Guild on the air. Tonight, it's Boomerang, starring Kirk Douglas. Remember, Bob Hope and Martin and Lewis join the big show today on NBC. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.
With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.